I'm, look, I know it's going to come. I always knew these first three games was, were tough. You know, we played Russia and made the playoffs for the last two years. We played Portland Falls and Seattle Rain. Seattle Rain, you know, meant to be the best team in the country. So these first three games, I knew it was going to be tough. But I think as a team, I think our performances are, are good, but they could be better. And, and that's the thing that I was saying at the start of the year, it's going to take us a little bit of time. I just, I just feel as, as time goes, we're going to get better on some of these. Now look at that corner at the end as an example where, you know, we should have got a corner off the back of it. But, you know, if we have a little bit of luck, that goes in the back of the net. But for us, it doesn't. And we're just not having that luck in front of goal at the moment. Any comment on the ref calling full time and then uncalling full time? Oh, I, I mean... I don't know, man. I didn't even think the free kick was a free kick. I don't think Julie's done anything wrong. Um, Julie stood there and she's gone into her. And what are you meant to do? Um, and that should have been a penalty, actually, because Julie, that was in the box. I, I don't know. I'm, I've got no comment on that. I don't know what was going on at the end there. I don't think anyone did. But um, just one of the things, isn't it? Just talk about Abby's cool, especially that onslaught in the 63rd and 64th minute. It just looked like she was pretty composed back then. Yeah, no, she's a, she's a good kid. She's had a good education at Texas, of course. Obviously, the national team, you know, rate her highly. So, you know, when uh, Sky Blue never picked her in the draft, obviously, we've done the, the trade with Chicago to get us higher up to, to get the pick to go and get her. Um, I'm surprised that Sky Blue never done that because I know they needed a goalkeeper in in, in the draft. So we was we was really pleased that um, that we got her. Um, and I think even like just like looking at the first two games, her being involved in the pro environment and training day in day out. You know, I can see her growing with with every training session, and hopefully she can take confidence on tonight's performance. And one thing that I wanted when we went went in for Abby was to have competition. And, um, and especially for the goalkeepers. It just looks like the crossbar has been your biggest nemesis. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. We just need that bit of luck, you know. The what Julie King's last week when it could, it could have looped in, that one on the corner at the end there. You know, again, we've created some good chances today. You know, we've the pleasing thing is that we've we've worked the goalkeeper on what I would say were our, were our better chances. Whereas the weeks before, we've gotten great goal scoring positions and we've either put it wide or we've put it over. So. As I say, I just think it's a matter of time. Once we get a win, I think we can go on a good run. You know, I generally think that. You know, they've had, they could have gone in a shell after last week's result. I don't think anyone watching that game would have said three 0 was a fair reflection on on the game. But they had players on the day that took their chances and we didn't. Um, and again, you know, obviously, I'm going to be biased. I don't think we deserve to lose a game again tonight. But you know, it's 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 one of them situations that. We've just got to remain positive. They've really responded well this week in training, and I can see an improvement as each week's gone. Um, but we have to start picking points up and start climbing up that lead table. <laughs> How important is McCall right now in the midfield? She seems to really take charge. And... Yeah, look, we, we brought That's... McCall in to do a certain job, and she's doing that for us. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously she was up for tonight because it's our old club. Um, so from that perspective. Um, you know, I've been pleased with, with our performances. Um, you know, I, I can't fault anyone really. You know, I, I think they've shown me the commitment that we're asking for. I think what we're asking them to do, they, they, they're, they're getting it. You know, I mean, there's a couple of times in the first half where they played down our right hand side too easily. Um, you know, because every time we stopped them playing and pressed them higher, they gave us the ball. And we knew that would happen from from watching their clips over the last last two games. You know, they. They tend to overplay and they become so stretched. Um, but unfortunately tonight we just didn't take advantage, especially second half when it became a little bit open. Like we were just giving the ball away needlessly when we could have built it and then exploited them gaps. And that, that for me, I said to him after the game, that was frustrating because we was in complete control up until that point. And then all of a sudden the game becomes open and, and that's where they start to get a bit of momentum going into it. Um, but we responded well to the goal again, which was pleasing. You know, we, we showed a lot of character and we put them back under pressure. So that, that, again, that's just a good side mentally that the group are in a good place. But we just, as I said, need to start turning some of these results into, into wins. Thank you. Thank you.